welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video I am bringing you all a DHgate haul because it has actually been two years since I uploaded my first ever designer video and since that video all these kind of designer ones have been blowing up on my channel so thank you very much for that and for that reason I want to do another one because you guys always ask me when are you going to be uploading another DHgate haul so here it is Finally, I feel as if it has taken a while for this video to be uploaded because I have been waiting ages. Shipping takes a long time, but all the products are here. I am really excited to show you. There will be links to all of the items in the description this time so that you guys can actually shop all of the items if you like the look of them. Honestly, I highly recommend you do and they're really good prices for everything as well, so I highly recommend you do. Before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It would be nice to get to a like goal of, I'll we'll say like 100 likes, you know, because we're going to ease it up a bit because it is a DH Get haul. Everybody seems to love this. Also leave a comment if you are enjoying the video so far. And also subscribe because I will be doing a giveaway when we reach 4,000 subscribers. So please subscribe. But yes. Without further ado, I am going to be getting on with the haul because I'm pretty sure you guys will want to see what I've got. But just before we get into this video, the DH Gate is a site that sells designer replicas. So all of these designer items are the replica items. So if you may be clicking on and thinking these are genuine items, they are very high quality reps of them. So, you know, save a bit of money. You know, like you might as well. The shipping may take a while, but honestly, it's so worth the wait. Like, when all of these items arrived, it felt like a Christmas. It just kept continuing because you know, they all arrived after Christmas, and honestly, it was amazing. But yeah, firstly, I am going to show you something which I have actually been using for a few weeks now because it actually arrived, like, way before everything else, and honestly, I am obsessed with it. So... I have a Christian Dior makeup bag, case, whatever you like to call it. This is absolutely amazing. I really wanted a new kind of makeup bag because I was using a Ted Baker one and because in my makeup collection is just growing and growing and growing, there was no space in my Alex drawers and I just kind of had my everyday makeup in the makeup bag. So instead I got this. I will put the price on the screen and the link is going to be in the description for you all. But yeah, I got this because it's obviously really spacious inside. It has a little handle, the navy blue Dior logo all over it and I love it so much. Open up inside, I've got all my lovely makeup products in there. But oh my god, it's so deep. Like, I can fit all my makeup brushes in here, setting sprays, full, full size makeup. Two different foundations are in here. Like, I can literally fit everything in here and I can even put like skincare bits it's got a zip in this bit here just like you could put a little things in if you like it's also got a little pouch in there as well honestly it's so spacious such a good makeup case to kind of separate all your makeup if you wanted to and it's really good quality I don't think this was a really a lot of money but I love it and it's obviously Kristen Dior. I absolutely love Dior. I don't really have a lot of Dior designer pieces but I feel as if it's a very special brand and it never goes out of fashion either so that's why I wanted to get this and honestly highly recommend it's a game changer to how I store my makeup. Next item I have something from the Balenciaga so as you can tell it's a box. It did arrive really damaged as you can tell it's all bending in the back it's all uh, broken on there you're probably thinking is this a pair of shoes no it's not it is something even better than that i haven't really been a fan of balenciaga handbags really for like i don't really know i've just never really been keen on them but it, basically i saw this girl have uh, this balenciaga bag on instagram and i absolutely love the color of it and I'm really getting into like my nudes and stuff so, like the box opens up and it's going to be a bit of a theme with the nudie colours in this video guys just wait and see but yeah it, it comes in a dust bag I'm not actually sure what the proper name for this bag is but it's the Balenciaga bag 
it's this style, it's got the gold detailing on it, the gold B, honestly, I am absolutely obsessed with this. This is the kind of textured material one and I am absolutely obsessed with it, honestly. I have had so many compliments on this bag, it's so handy if you're putting like your purse in here, car keys, your phone, it's so spacious inside and this was around £57, I will put the proper price on the screen but it says the Balenciaga in the bag, it's also got a zip in the bag, it's easily wipeable if I ever spilt something on it and honestly the quality is amazing, I'm obsessed. So that's this bag and it's so cute, you can wear it like this if you wanted to, it's so cute and I love it my nude colours, this is definitely my most favourite handbag at the moment because I'm just obsessing over it all the time like I'm just yeah I'm honestly just in love with it like yeah you know I've just really chuffed a bit because that was that is definitely my favourite item in this video and then speaking of Balenciaga I have never been a fan of this certain item either before but the photos made you know, the colour it looked like it was like the same colour as this but slightly darker however when it arrived I was a bit I wasn't disappointed but I was just kind of a bit annoyed so basically the box is absolutely knackered again you can probably tell you know, what type of shoes these are but as I said I've never been a fan of these shoes up until now and when they arrived I was thinking to myself do I suit them but oh my god I think I do okay so here I have you get your Balenciaga sock the trainers, I think that's what they're called, in a nude colour. So as you can tell, the colour difference is very noticeable. <laughs> I mean, this is like the perfect nude. This is more of like an orangey nude. But, to be honest, I think it's nice. I think it'll go with a lot of stuff. So, I have obviously tried these on. Oh my god. First thing, they are so super comfortable also lightweight and they are very true to size so i've got these in a size 4 euro 37 um, and they fit perfectly i do have the really small ankles as well and they fit like a glove around my ankles so like if you're maybe one of those girls who is very petite like myself and you're worried in case it's kind of gonna it'd be slightly baggy around your ankles trust me it will not be baggy I'm also going to put the sellers on the screen as well because I know that a lot of people like the sellers but if you click all the links in the description it'll take you straight to like the seller and, and the item anyway but yeah these are really lightweight I love these I used to absolutely hate these I mean I'm still trying to like them as much as I can but the detailing is on point it says Balenciaga all in the white on there it says Balenciaga engraved on the back and it also says it on the sole as well. Honestly, I really like the weight, and because I have some triple S's, these are literally like a feather compared to them because yeah, the triple S trainers are literally so chunky and so heavy. But yeah, I love these a lot. I definitely think these will go best with black pants. It may be this type of top, I'm not sure. I'm still yet to find an outfit to wear them with, but yeah, so far I love them. Next up, I have another handbag because my hobby is to collect handbags to be honest with you all so here i have the classic prada 2005 the re-edition handbag this is an absolutely stunning color again as you can tell that is a trend with kind of colors they're all a bit slightly different colors but honestly i'm still obsessed with the color so it's obviously the re-edition one it's got the prada logo it's got a working zip inside you just have the Prada inside and everything like that it's also got the re-edition thing to hang on it did actually come with a chain but the chain is like it's really short and I know that the real one is the same but I'm not really keen on the chain so I don't have it on the bag um, it also comes with like a little extra bit and it actually says Prada on the strap like I think only on one bit though, but I think that's what the real one is like. So I'm just going to show you it says Prada on there. As beautiful as this bag is, it does stain really easily. It, the real ones do as well. So I went to the supermarket the other week and I got some flowers and you probably can't actually see, but it's 
they left like a few marks of like the dirty water mark on my bag but I'm happy it's not the real deal otherwise I would have been fuming it's such a lovely bag it's a very similar style to the Louis Vuitton one it was just a lot I feel as if it's more comfortable to wear because like, it's a different material and it does feel better quality compared to that one that I've got but yeah it's beautiful it's a good little size again to put your purse in there keys your phone and it's out the way as well so like you never feel as if you're wearing anything and this is actually you know, my first ever Prada item so I'm kind of switching up a bit in this haul I honestly love Prada and I know that it's gotten very back into fashion again but honestly I'm obsessed with this bag I was nearly going to get the pink one but I thought to myself I'm just in the mood for like a bit of nude to match the bag you're probably going to think oh my god are you actually that sad but I got the matching beanie hat I was either going to get the bucket hat or the beanie hat because whenever I try on bucket hats in shops I really suit them and Scott always says the same yeah, the only thing is with the Prada bucket hats the logo it was like a white it was like it'd be completely different to like this logo so to match the bag because I'm really that sad I got the beanie hat and oh my god it's so soft I tried this on and I do have a small head so I was worried in case it was going to kind of be baggy on my head but it actually fits perfectly and I think I fairly suit it I mean it makes me look like a bit of like a skater type girl or something but I actually really like it and for keeping my head warm it's such a good fit it is obviously very stretchy but for a small headed girl like myself I think it fits really nicely the logo is kind of sticking off on the edges I don't know if that's meant to happen but oh my god so comfortable I will be getting the bucket hat for summer time you will see me with the bucket hat on like by the pool on my Instagram pictures you'll literally see me like they're rocking the buggy hat soon hopefully but yeah but for now for this type of weather and time of year it's great honestly so comfortable it, it doesn't itch your head either it totally made my hair a bit of a mess mind i have just washed my hair as well so yeah i'm touching my hair but yeah i don't want to have ugly hair for the video you know but yeah so far so good i love these i would highly recommend to anybody who wants a bit of prada in their life i think it, it is such a lovely brand final the nude item it's not the final item in the haul but it is the final kind of nudie brownie item basically i have always wanted like you know, one of those furry jackets and i found one on there for like 40 pounds around that price and you know, the reviews are really good so it's a match both of my new handbags and you know, this hat i wanted to get you know, the kind of stony nudie one and on the photos it was like more stony compared to like nude so I ordered it and you know, the reviews were good and stuff and when it turned up firstly it absolutely honks of fish I'm going to show you the item in a minute but the colour is completely off I mean it is still a nice colour but it's really cropped so basically it's not going to be to everybody's taste and I am kind of disappointed because it looked way nicer on photos and I don't know if I can pull this off but I've got this furry jacket, it is really soft, it does have a hood with it, it's obviously going to be really hard to show, the other thing is it does smell of fish, I have aired it out in my room and spray perfume on it to make it, it not smell like that, but I'm going to have to show you it on because like I got a size small because I think there was a choice of small, medium and large and because I'm I obviously only five foot one and size six to eight in clothing. I obviously didn't want to get like a medium because like it made me look really big if I if I got a medium. But the only thing is it's really cropped. I can't get away with it luckily, but if I have high waisted jeans on, but if I had like a gym leggings on or something, it would look really wrong. I mean it's really comfortable. I will have to chew I will have to find something it's suitable to wear with this obviously because it is very cropped it is really comfortable mind it literally had every single colour in this it's probably best it's not wear this in the rain I wouldn't have thought but yeah it is really comfortable because I do have a really small head it makes me look like an Eskimo but <laughs> like look at that it doesn't actually smell of fish anymore because I have aired it out and it did take a while to get here but honestly so worth it as I said it's not going to be to everybody's taste but if you want a furry jacket 
instead of spending £150 for one, just have a look in the DH kit. It doesn't have to be this exact type of jacket, but it could be like a one without a hood. It was £40, so I do understand, like, for £40, I don't think it's actually that bad. Like, you know, obviously, it's not a designer item. I just wanted it to match, like, this sort of stuff. I suppose it actually does in a way, actually. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And then, I'm just going to sit with my jacket on because I, I want to, you know. I've got some Gucci tights because I've always really wanted them. I, I can't remember how much the real Gucci tights are, but they're quite a lot of money. I've got two pairs. I've obviously not opened this pair. I've already had a pair on and a lot of people actually go for the, the fake designer ones because they're the real ones actually click a lot and get holes in them and I did have them on the other day and I went to Scott's house he also has a dog a daisy jumped up at me it made a little hole in them but thank god I've got two pairs you've got to be really careful but they like the Gucci print it's probably going to be really hard to show but if you stretch them out the Gucci print and they're really cheap I mean they were fairly cheap I mean for tights they're probably like a bit expensive but for designer tights in a way they were a decent price this is the haul pretty much. If I had to say it, it, what my favourite item was, I would probably say the Balenciaga bag because that bag is just a bag of dreams. Like, I love it. I just want to show you what it, it's like again. Honestly, love this bag so much. It's such good quality. But yes, leave a comment down below of what your favourite designer item it was. Also, make sure to click all the links in the description to shop everything that are, are featured in this haul. Also leave a like and subscribe as well because we're nearly at 4,000 subscribers and yes I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody!